All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Steve here, Refined Auto Designs. Um, today's the day. Um, gonna start the front bumper project. Be shaving that. Got a little damage here, I'm gonna repair that. We also have a bunch of stone chips all over the front. So, uh, first thing first, I'm gonna get this front bumper off and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so first and foremost, let me start off by saying, um, this video, just bear with me. Um, I was in and out of this project for the last two weeks, maybe an hour or two at a time. So the footage might be a little more chopped up than normal, um, but I think you'll still get something out of it. All right, so removing the bumper cover, pretty straightforward. Um, bunch of clips, a couple nuts with studs inside behind the fender. Um, on my driver's side, I did have an issue. I actually snapped the stud off on the bracket. So um, I did have to put a new stud in there and um, rivet that bracket back on. But other than that, no issues. All right, so next up is getting rid of that Mach 1 chin spoiler. Um, probably buy another one down the road and getting the fog lights out of the way so I have room to work. All right, so here I am using basic plastic repair techniques um, to try to push that plastic back to where it was supposed to be. Um, just grab a cheap heat gun on low heat you don't want to completely melt it. You start pushing your tools through the bumper. Um, just get it warm, kind of manipulate it back to where you want it to be and cool it with air. All right, once I was happy with where the bumper should be, um, I moved on to surface prep. Um, I grabbed my little two inch DA and um, I hit it with some 40 grit to give the repair material something to stick to. All right, so next up, I grab my angle grinder, with some 36 grit on it. Um, at slow speed, removed all the paint primer, got down to clean plastic, and uh, finished it up with my two inch DA with some 40 grit, just to remove any burrs and do a final clean. And here's the repair material I was using. Um, it's the SEM Problem Plastic Repair. It's the same stuff I use on the back bumper to shave the Mustang logo. Um, and you can see I finally broke down and actually bought an epoxy gun to make this whole job easier. Um, I took some clear packing tape, kind of made a dam because the stuff likes to flow. And I just filled and pumped it, went back and forth, and built the whole area up. Then once it was firmed up enough, I removed the tape and put a little light coat on the repair area. So I let this stuff dry about an hour. Um, then I went over it with some 80 grit on a DA, buzzed it down, and uh, gave it some tooth for the follow-up coats of uh, just regular body glaze. All right, that repair material uh, filled about 90, 95% of the actual void. Um, then I just have to top coat it and smooth it out. Um, once I was happy with it, I cleaned it all up. I had, uh, I believe, 80 grit across the board, across the whole front, and I was ready to start filling with polyester body filler glaze that's flexible, that's made for um, flexible parts. You're not supposed to build heavy with it, so I kept a nice light coat. Um, I put down a piece of tape to preserve that body line and um, put one tight coat across the front edge um, to cover all the sand scratches. All right, 20 minutes, it's dry. I sprayed on a uh, light coat, a guide coat. Um, got my 80 grit on a block and did a real rough blocking with it. Um, at this point, I kind of realized as I'm blocking it with my short little block that it's a little short and it's kind of just cutting into it instead of contouring through the whole front edge of the bumper. Um, so I realized I did what I could with it, sanded it off, and I knew I was gonna put on another coat. All right, so I mixed up another batch of filler and um, I hit the repair area and um, also gave 
the front filled area another coat so I can block it out with a bigger block. All right, at this point, I temporarily mounted the bumper to the car. Um, so it's sitting untwisted, kind of where it's going to be um, before it gets its final blocking. Um, I think that makes for some straighter body work when it's all done. All right, sometimes you got to be creative. Um, I didn't have a real long block, but I did have a piece of balsa wood that had some flex in it. And I had a whole bunch of six inch DA uh, paper. So. I uh, got creative with it. I put 180 on one side, 80 grit on the other side, and I made a nice long flexible block to go across the front. All right, so once that rough body work was done with the 80 grit, um, I yanked the bumper back up the car, placed it on the floor, and prepped the whole front edge of the bumper with 180 grit. Um, and did a final smoothing out on uh, the filled area, which I think needed another coat. At this point, I think it was finished with 80 grit. All right, so at this point, I am mixing up my last coat of body glaze. Um, I use a different color hardener. Um, so when I'm sanding, I can kind of see my highs and lows a little easier. It's just a little trick. And um, this is gonna be my final blocking. All right, and I grabbed my homemade block one last time with 180 grit on it and uh, gave it one good final block sanding. All right, so at this point, the bodywork on the bumper cover is done. Um, I'm now starting to prep for primer. Um, I'm stepping out my repair area with a uh, 320 to 400 grit scratch. This is where your primer is actually going to feather edge. Um, and you can see here I'm actually hitting all the little nooks and crannies with a red scotch bright pad which is about equivalent to 400 grit. Alright so after a quick blow off um, gave it a good wipe down with some prep saw and started taping this thing up. Alright, as for the primer I'm using, um, I seem to always go back to my um, U-Paul 2K primer. Um, it's a direct to metal primer. It's very versatile. You can use it as a sealer, a high build primer, or just a regular primer. Um, here I have it mixed up as a high build prime. It's a little thicker, and um, I grab my cheapo Harbor Freight spray gun, and uh, you can see it barely comes out. It's kind of thick, so um, I gave it one initial light coat uh, mixed up as a high build, which is no reducer at all. It's just the primer itself and the catalyst and um, I let that dry for a good 20-25 minutes and mixed up another batch a um, little bigger and this time I added some reducer and uh, put on I think two or three more coats um, kind of these coats kind of laid them on pretty decent and each coat I stepped out a little farther every time all the way till you just get to the edge of that paper. Um, you don't want them hard primer lines, they're just a pain in the ass to sand out later. So, And they're gonna leave marks in your paint job. All right, at this point, I call this done. Um, I'm gonna let this primer sit at least a week um, before I block it and final sand it with 600 wet and move on to paint. So, if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. Um, got a couple more videos coming out soon. Um, and we're going to start painting this thing. All right. Thank you for watching.